Hey. Hey gamers. Guess what? We're doing a Scarlet tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys all how to play Scarlet. Because Scarlet and every legend that ever existed plays differently from each other. And I'm going to show you how to use Scarlet's SIGs specifically. Uh, what to do to optimally use her SIGs like in different case scenarios and stuff like that. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys raw neutral using the SIGs like how to land them and things like that. Uh, which combos you should use in neutral based off her stats and uh, so on. So if you like the video make sure you hit that like, subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next. I want to do other in-depth legend or, uh, tutorials with other lance legends because all the lance legends actually play a little bit differently from each other and I'd like to go over that in this type of series. So yeah hit that like, subscribe, comment, let's get right into this. Uh, we'll go one sig at a time. Uh, lance and sig. Lance and sig has a lot of uses. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is it's not low on startup but it doesn't have a lot of startup. Uh, it's not something like side sig, which you can visibly tell has more startup than end sig. So end sig startup is mediocre. Uh, it ends in the air, making it actually pretty hard to punish. Uh, you do fall quite a lot because you are actually locked into a lot of frames. Like here, I'll show you if I am spamming jump. I actually went all the way and I touched the ground. Look at when I go blue. I go blue right before here. So it's got a, a lot of recovery frames. You are locked into falling. It is harder to be punished, but you're locked after using it. So spamming NSIG isn't the best option just because of how, like that's a lot of recovery frames. But yeah, hard to punish. So silver, gold, you can spam NSIG. Using it at a higher game play, uh, you can't really spam it just because of how slow it is. Um, something like a side light end sig, uh, you should only go for it if you have a dodge read. That is only because it is actually unjumpable. Because you can only jump up and it's like, you know. Like you can jump kind of to the right as well, but it's going to catch it, you know. Like even if you jump left. Okay, so it actually doesn't cover if you jump left. I did not know that. But yeah, it covers two of the three jumps. You can either go up, right, or left. Uh, jumping to the left it doesn't cover but up and to the right it does so only go for it if you have a dodge odds are it's gonna land if you have a dodge read um, so yeah use that as a follow-up it's only if you have a dodge read um, the move is also very good when you slide charge it and I failed the slide charge so if I slide charge it off the stage you can kind of see it's a little risky but it covers almost the entire edge uh, that case scenario kind of goes inside the stage, but if you're about right here, you can see how much that actually covers. It covers from all the way at the top and all the way at the bottom. So that kind of covers the whole thing. So if you see someone kind of like coming back the stage, a GCN SIG is very good. Another case scenario for GCN SIG is making it back the stage. If you're close to the stage, it will actually shoot you upwards depending on how big the wall is. You kind of have to be close to the wall. But did you see how high I went there? I, and I also stayed up high. So I ended from the very bottom of the stage and I went all the way up here and I kept rising. If you do it, you actually rise in your recovery frames. Look how high I went. I went all the way up to here from the very bottom. If I were to do it like this and not hit the stage, I, I'd barely go up because you start falling. If you're against the stage in your recovery frames, you're actually gonna rise. So see how I'm against it? Recovery frames just started. That's the last hitbox, as you can see. And now, see how I keep going up? So that's kind of the tech. It actually is really good at getting back to stage. Um, it kind of depends on where you do it. So like there, it doesn't work as well. There's definitely a sweet spot. It's hard to do kind of consistently, but did you see there? how like it really went up. I went from all the way down there and I just rode the side of the stage all the way up. So it's a bit more of a niche situation, but it is an option for covering the stage. Let's say I use some options. I use like a Ser and then I do CN Zig. There I kind of made it back barely, but if I'm like right here and I kind of want a safe way to get back, you just do CN Zig. 
it's actually very good at making it back to stage and no one's really gonna punish that since you're moving very quickly <laughs> that thing is insane <laughs> yeah i think it's a bug but like look at this i'm all the way down here like oh hi i go <laughs> so yeah definitely practice that it's kind of a niche but yeah another case scenario for gc NSIG is side light nair side light nair actually sets you up for a gc NSIG. it only works if they dodge down or dodge up so it's not very consistent so try and get a dodge read out of it um, it also works if they spot dodge, but you're going to have to like wait an extra second. So for example, if the dodge is a spot, they'll spot and then you kind of have to wait. If you do it without the spot, it kind of do it doesn't have enough startup frames or active frames to cover it. No? So yeah, that's kind of the case scenarios when you use an end sig. One other option which I do, so I'll do this G uh, backdash GC end sig. And let's say like I'll, I'll use a backdash GCN sig slide charge like this when someone's trying to recover to the stage high So if I'm like recovering to the stage, so like let's say I'm over here I'm Like do 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 oh, I'm recovering and I'm up here Like if they're kind of recovering over here and they're trying to touch the ground backdash GCN sig really covers that I've used it in a lot of sets and it's a very good option It's pretty safe since they're recovering the stage not going to prioritize punishing you they're gonna prioritize touching the ground. But yeah, only do that if they're coming back to stage. Um, there's also, you can do like a down light GCN SIG. This is the same thing as side light GCN SIG. It covers jump reads. Um, use it if they don't have a dodge or if it's a dodge read. And uh, yeah, NSIG is very, very useful. And probably the second best Lance SIG on the kit just because of how many uses it has. Um, side sig is the next sig. It doesn't have as many uses. Side sig's real job is just to punish people who play grounded, who are also like dodging on the ground. So a lot of people will automatically spot dodge. And if you kind of get that reaction, like let's say I down there and you see them spot dodging, you can go down there side sig. The side sig has enough startup and active frames that it will cover those spot dodge reads 90% of the time. I don't know why I didn't do it that one time, but yeah, almost like a hundred percent. Like it's it's very good. Right, there, side sig, you know. So it's it's really just a dodge read side sig. You can also use it when people are trying to touch the ground, although it is very risky. Lots of recovery frames. You can kind of see how far I'm kind of just standing still. Like uh, if I even do like that, I'm kind of like stuck to the ground, you know. Same if I use like a GC, like take a look at this. If I do a GC NSIG, okay, look where I started and then look how far I fall. I fall here, which is about even from where I started. I think just a bit higher. If I do a GC side SIG, obviously it's not gonna be even, but look how far I fall. So I start up here and then I fall, I fall, I fall, I fall. Look how far that is all the way down there so it shows you how many recovery frames it's a lot of recovery frames and you can feel it yourself so only use it if you have like a guaranteed dodge read this move has a lot of force probably the most force or it kills the earliest on the lance sigs just because it sends you directly straight it's a good signature but its only use is really just covering that spot dodge read and that's really it you can also get the odd dodge read like side light nair if they're spot dodging maybe gc side sig but it's only for hard reads. Uh, the third and most useful lance sig is the down sig. And if you have seen me, I use it to slide charge down sig. Like, <laughs> slide charge person can't slide charge. But yeah, I will slide charge down sig. It covers everywhere close to the stage. And I will only use it when someone is kind of coming back. So let's say they're coming back to the stage. Sir, sir, and they need to dodge. Like, let's say they use the dodge a little bit earlier. See how I use the dodge here? Right now, I've got no way of protecting myself if someone tries to hit me other than jumping. And I don't have the gas to make it back. So what do I do? You slide charge down sig because it covers that last sare option they have to make it back and they can't dodge out of it. Also down sig has all, like barely any startup frames when you're slide charging it. It's almost instant from when you release. Like literally instant. It's 
It's basically instant. Like, look at that. It's one frame. One frame startup for when you release. And you literally cover from all the way up here, from all the way down there. Depending, like, you could just let go at any time, right? Really just, it's really great once you catch that dodge. You can easily use it to protect yourself and edge guard them. The only downside to it is it drops here and there, but it's a great move just to use to like send people away. You can also use it to bait on stage because it's got that low recovery frames, little startup. No one's going to be able to punish this down stage if I'm right here. So like, let's say if someone's off stage, you can basically spam down stage right here. No one's going to punish it. Um, and yeah, you can use it to bait. Uh, and yeah, side trades down sig, you can use a down sig as a bait. Those are really the two only options, but they're the most common signature options. Like whenever someone literally goes off stage, you can down sig, you know, and it's so quick and it has almost instant startup. So if you see them coming to stage, you can just down sig and it's it's so quick. It's great. It's a great move. So yeah, practice side trades down sigging it and incorporating it into your gameplay. And that is it for the lance sigs. Let's get on to hammer. So start with hammer and sig. Hammer and sig is in honestly, they're all three hammer sigs are the most usable. I use probably down sig the most and end sig. Side sig is a bit slower, but um used in one case scenario and I'll explain that. But NSIG, obviously there's downlight GC NSIG, or downlight NSIG, which is two dodge frames. It's a very good combo. Um, it's very good. The only issue is they can jump out of it, but I'm pretty sure it covers jumps. No, it doesn't necessarily cover jumps, no. Oh no, that's a dodge, what am I doing? I'm stupid. Um, let's see, random. Covers. Almost every jump. Yeah. Let me see if they can jump left. Because that's where the hitboxes aren't. Yeah, okay, so it covers any dodge. Or any jump. So once you get that dodge... What? How'd that not cover? They jumped. What? They, like, just didn't cover. Okay, anyways. It covers like 99.9% .9 of the time. The odd weird time if like, I don't know, they have no reaction. See? Because it doesn't like really cover right where the downlight sets you up. So you kind of just need to watch out for that one case scenario. But um, yeah, it's very good for downlight NSIG, um, especially if you have a dodge. Another good reason for NSIG is backdash NSIG covers the entire edge. The only downside is it is a little risky. But look how much space that thing covers, right? And it's very quick as well. So it's not super risky. Just make sure you have a lead when doing this. Because if you get punished, you don't want that to be the end of you, if that makes sense. So yeah, practice slide charge in the end sig. It covers the entire edge. You can also use it the same as Lance down sig. It's like almost instant from like... Look, look at this. That's when I release it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like seven frames. So easy. So quick. So yeah, practice slide charging it. It's not the most useful slide charge, but it's very good. Um, other case scenarios is just like raw neutral dodge read. So if you can side light them and let's say they start dodging up, for instance, side light, you can kind of get that read. So there's obviously raw reads and neutral, which you can do. You can also set to like random. So if you can, uh, that's a side save. If you can kind of tell which way they're dodging, then like you can kind of predict. If they're going anywhere up, I would always end sig. If they're going sideways, side sig. But yeah, two real case scenarios is like downlight end sig and um, slide charging and raw reads. That's really it for hammer and sig. It's just a very quick, reliable signature. Only downside is it do doesn't cover behind you anymore. So it doesn't necessarily match the animation perfectly and it doesn't pick up stack either. You can kind of see like it, you won't hit it if you're here. You have to hit it like here in front. Anyways, next is side sig. Side sig is an OP signature. If you are playing on a map that has no wall like uh, the Hellboy map, like White Apocalypse. Uh, Small Brawl covers like half of it. Shipwreck, the new Demon's Island map, and the new Steven Universe map, I believe. Side Sig covers the whole edge. It is great. It is a great signature for covering off stage. It's got tons of range, 
The only downside is it's very punishable. But it is very, very good on maps where they literally cannot touch because you cover the whole entire wall like shipwreck. If someone is coming back to stage and they've got no options, you just side sig and it covers everything. You just need to time it properly. So yeah, use it for edge garden. Um, it's also very good for like quick edge garden. Like if you land like a quick, uh, like if you somehow get them off stage very quickly, then um, I'm trying to like send this guy off stage. Okay, you know what? Stop dodging. You can just follow up with a quick side sake, right? It's just a very good option. You can also use it for a side, like for a read. It covers a lot of space. The only issue is the amount of active frames it has and recovery frames. It's very slow, but it's pretty huge. So you can definitely use it for like dodge reading and stuff like that, but it's got a lot of startup frames. So it's almost reactable. So be careful when using it. Make sure it's like a dodge read. So you know which way they're going. So you know the side stick will hit. But yeah, the really only like the real only case scenario which you should use side stick is when they're off stage and coming back. Or, or just like if they're just staying off stage and they're not expecting it. You can just side stick really quickly and it's great. You can also slide charge the side stick. It's just not super optimal. I'd rather end sig because it's a bit bigger. So last but not least, Hammer Down Sig, my favorite Sig on Hammer's kit on Scarlet. It's got the most force in the game. The only issue with it is it sends the user diagonally upwards, which is the hardest way to kill. But because it's got the most force in the game, it is a outstanding move and kills super early. If your opponent is off stage, so I'm just gonna set this to JD off stage. Because when you slide charge it like that, you actually build up force because you're actually charging it up. It, it kills a 90 health. If you see them off stage. Especially if they're coming back to stage. Doesn't kill them at 60. Doesn't kill them at 70. I think it kills them at 80. Obviously this also depends on how much you charge it up. I could probably, damn it. I see how I charged it up a tiny bit longer. Okay, so it kills at 90 health consistently on small brawl side. Unless you like barely charge it. But yeah, pretty consistent. It kills, it reaches pretty glitchy. Like you could do a GC down sig, like right here and it will reach them on stage. If they, Don't decide to go all the way. Damn it. Obviously, it's like a little harder. But yeah, no, the signature is almost instant from when you let go of it. So, realistically, like, look at this. I think it has no startup frames. I think it's actually instant. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six startup frames. That's pretty crazy. That is super quick, right? It's a great slide charge option. Kills super early. You can use it to cover people. So if someone's like coming back to stage vertically and like waste their dodge there, you could just cover with the down stick and just release once they waste it. It's super safe as well because it's got almost no recovery frames. So you can like recover straight out of it. And I've done that countless times in tournaments just to punish people that can't punish it because I'm moving. And it's, it's hard to punish something if I'm moving in the recovery frames. But yeah, this is a great kill option. Definitely practice using it. Other than that, it doesn't have that many case scenarios on stage. Uh, instead of slide charging it, you can also GC down stage it. The only issue is you're gonna be wasting a dodge, so it's a little riskier. But like, you can obviously like wait for people to touch if the wall is very tiny, like shipwreck. You could literally just wait and GC down stage if you know that they're, they need to touch. Uh, half the people will try and touch and the other half will actually try and hit you if you wait there, so just be careful. If they land a hit, they'll get chase dodges back and they'll kind of beat your master plan. But yeah, just kind of be careful. Also, I'm talking very quickly in this video because I don't want this video to be too long. There's a lot of things on Scarlet which make her unique and um, I hope I described everything to you guys. Uh, this is kind of a hard video for me to make. But, uh, 
Yeah, no, this is a very long video and I am talking very quickly. But yeah, if you do enjoy this type of tutorial, I might make a slower version in the future and something that could be like even out an hour long, just like a full video going in depth of everything, uh, frames and everything. But generally that's how you use Scarlet signatures. And obviously Lance and Hammer you use like any other character, but those these signatures really make her attack feel worth it. Like down sig is so much force and Lance side sig is so much force. Like that thing obviously fully charged might kill. Just because that thing sends horizontally, it kills at 90 on small brawl. Like look at this. Okay, barely doesn't kill at 90, but like you can't slide charge it, but yeah. Anyways, that's um, that's Scarlet. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all later. Take care. Another good job. Peace.